Mr. DJ back with a Lost 45 from Billboard's Hot 100 the week of June 13, 1970 at number 87 that week. It was on the Hot 100 for four weeks, but hey, no sweat for Tony Burroughs. Melanie makes me smile. I'll just start from the beginning. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because the last three videos I made was too long, so let, I'm just going to come to the point. Tony Burroughs from England. He started, he started with a group called the Castrols back in the early 60s. Also, in the Castrols were two guys who became mammoth British producers in the late 60s, early 70s. It was Roger Greenaway and Robin Cook. Later in the 60s, Tony Burroughs was in a band called the Flowerpot Men, a British band. They had one hit in England called Let's Go to San Francisco and went to number four in Britain in the late 60s. Now it gets really good. Tony Burroughs sang lead four different studio bands. 1970 was his year. He sang lead on Love Grows Where My Rosemary Goes by Edison Lighthouse. He sang lead on United We Stand by Brotherhood of Man, summer of 1970. Later in 1974, he sang lead. Again, another British studio band, Beach Baby, by First Class. Gotta give this guy a lot of credit. He sang lead on the Pipkins, Give Me That Ding. That was in the spring and summer of 1970. But most of all, this was so lovely. This is incredibly lovely. What a lovely record this was. Tony Burrell sang lead on Your Baby Loves Lovin' by White Plains. Your baby loves lovin', she's got what it takes and she knows how to use it. Oh yes, one of the great bubblegum pop records. The summer of 1970, White Plains, a studio band from England, the summer of 1970. Baby loves loving. Tony Burrell sang lead on that. And guess who produced that record? Guess who produced your baby loves loving? I've already mentioned them. Roger Greenaway and Robin Cook produced it. Former members of the Kestrels. From 91 to 87, the week of June 15th, or June 13th, rather, 1970. Tony Burroughs, Melanie, makes me smile.